to give our producers the best management practices. The first question they're going to ask about is, Ms. Kanafla, how much nitrogen we want to add. Nitrogen is the first primary nutrient that most of the producers use on our forage, forage crops. And the other primary nutrients are going to be phosphorus and potassium. On this particular study, what we are looking at, we are just looking at the effects of nitrogen and then the harvest itself. In a dual cut systems, what we are going to look at is, Ms. Khan, we're going to harvest in the mid season whenever it's at the boot stage. At the boot stage, we're going to harvest it and then we'll let it regrow. And then at the end of the season, we're going to collect the biomass at all. One good thing about this one is, Ms. Khan, the refineries could stagger their harvest uh, system itself so that they'll have biomass continuously over the growing season rather than having all the biomass at the end of the season. But the caveat to that one is, if you harvest at very green, Ms. Kano, this is right now uh, at the boot stage, Ms. Kano, if you harvest at this stage, it's going to mine a lot of nutrients. So we look at the quality of the forage itself and then we're going to cal calculate how much uh, nutrients it's going to be mining. So on a long run, we're going to look at the sustainability aspect also, Ms. Kano, if the producer is mining, Ms. Kano, a lot of nutrients at this point of time, Ms. Kano, how much uh, I'm not an economist, Ms. Kano, but my counterparts on this, uh, on this project are going to look at, Ms. Kano, what would be the compensation price that the interfoundry has to pay if they're going to do a dual cut system when they're going to harvest it. In a one cut system, we're harvesting out of frost. Switchgrass is a plant, Ms. Kano, once it reaches its physiological maturity, it's going to send out all the nutrients back into the ground. So most of the nutrients are um, immobilized back into the root system itself. So we typically recommend Ms. Kano harvesting it after frost. So, and the other thing is, as I pointed out, Ms. Kano, we're looking at the effects of nitrogen. We're looking at four different nitrogen rates here, as 0, 30, 60, and 90 pounds per acre basis. Uh, on the previous small plot studies which I conducted, Ms. Kano, we kind of pretty much came up, 90 pounds is the maximum which the switch rats needs. Anything about uh, 90 pounds, the marginal return is uh, pretty marginal, means kind of the rate of return is pretty marginal. So 90 pounds is what a producer probably is maximum they could grow with. Uh, at the same time, uh, if you have a residual nitrogen, you have to look at, means kind of if you have a residual nitrogen, you have to uh, uh, give a credit for that one and adjust your rates. And then the other part of the objective, which I'm going to do the economic part, but the economists are going to look at, means kind of on the field scale basis on this large scale studies, they're going to look at, okay, well, 60 pounds itself will be enough, Ms. Kano, rather than for the extra yield, Ms. Kano, is it beneficial or not? They're going to look at those components also to that one.